What up, what up, what up? I'm gonna spout off about Starbucks, no filter. I used to work there a few years ago, so you know where I've been. And we know coffee's not the only thing that's been brewing there. Starbucks has a huge union movement going on, and the corporate people are not too happy about it, if you can even call them people, because corporations are not people. And I think that if you represent them, you should no longer be a candidate for personhood. New York City sues Starbucks for firing union organizing barista. Even though it is against federal law to fire anybody for organizing a labor union or talking or joining it, they do it anyway because corporations can literally get away with murder in this country. Amazon's been undergoing a union movement as well. This fulfillment center in Moreno Valley announced Union Drive. Unions are cool again. A new generation of workers advocate for unionization. It's Amazon versus the people, and the people have spoken, said organizer Chris Smalls. We want to thank Jeff Bezos for going to space, because when he was up there, we were signing people up. Now, thanks to propaganda, misinformation, mostly by the right, but also by a lot of neoliberal Democrats, well, support for unions went down over time, but now because of the rise of labor in the United States, well, support for labor is the highest it's been since 1965, as Gallup points out, Good. and now 71% of Americans approve of unions. And this is Good. giant. I need you to understand that, to have 71% of yeah, the- Yeah, and, and that contributes to the economics of it all. I'm s like, we're done believing as a nation that the rich uh, have so much power, you know, that even though they are powerful in terms of currency and net worth, they are not powerful in terms of the economy. We control that. That is largely a worker-controlled uh, enterprise, the entire labor movement. And what these corporations are going to do to try to dodge that, my prediction is they're just going to double down on automation. But if they can't do that fast enough, if they can't secure the progress and the funding to get through all of that at a quick enough pace, then we really have a window here to uh, shoot for the stars and just – and. Uh, collective bargain for basically anything we want i mean it's pretty fucking amazing that 15 dollars, even though not every company pays it and they fucking should um that's now considered in everybody's mind the minimum that they should be getting paid at the very least of course it's never going to be enough of course we should always be asking for more money because that that's what aligns with your self-value is what you believe that you are worth when you put a dollar on your fucking title on on who you are then that's what you're going to be worth that's how you see yourself and that's going to ultimately guide where you end up you're not always going to get the wage that you ask for but it that doesn't mean you shouldn't ask and that doesn't mean you shouldn't ask for more benefits if you and your cohorts feel that that's appropriate and if the corporation will not listen to you, then obviously you have to form a union. I mean, what choice do you have at that point? ...of workers who try to form unions despite the propagandistic lies and the right-wing attacks on unions to have 71% of Americans say we support unions. That is huge. Now, I want to talk about some more labor activity on Labor Day because there's things that you can do today to support workers. As In These Times reports, Starbucks workers are hosting pro-union sip-ins where they're encouraging customers to order low-cost items or just water and then leave a really big tip for the employees. And then they're also offering conversations about union organization and worker rights and exploitation. And I absolutely love this idea. But if you don't have a Starbucks near you that's hosting this, look, do this. Go order a water and leave them a really big tip. Just let them know that you support them. I, I think that the best thing that you can do is to perhaps boycott. And if you still don't think that America needs unions, take a look at this extreme shit that goes on in, in the summer. And then in the winter This is fucking Dollar General. This company literally dominates rural America. If you go to a, just a fucking one horse town in any s state in America... If you're just driving through rural America, you will see about 10 of these motherfuckers pop up on any of the roads and nothing else. It's just going to be fucking Dollar General, Dollar General, Donald, Dollar General. It's insane. Um, it was and these motherfuckers like will not even install proper air conditioning in their stores.
40s, 50s in the store, like you could see your breath. In the wintertime, I got pneumonia from working in those conditions. Between the mold and the holes in the ceiling tiles, there's birds in the building still. You can see bird poop on product, which people are touching. No air conditioners that would work in the summer. That's why we walked out. I'm glad I quit. I feel like I st stood up for my own rights. You should quit. Nobody should fucking work at Dollar General. It's like there's only two people working there at a time anyway. They don't give a shit. It's not like you actually need employees. You just throw a bunch of shit on the shelves. Most of the time it doesn't even match the fucking price tag. And fuck it, just walk out with the shit. It's supposed to be a dollar anyway, right? You. I had a lot of elderly disabled employees. My customers are disabled. They can't, I mean, that's a lawsuit. You can't have people with conditions working in that. And Dollar General's not the only one. Like I said, there's Starbucks, there's UPS. UPS drivers are fucking dying from excruciating heat in their trucks. There's no fucking air conditioning in their trucks. And I really recommend you watch this video from More Perfect Union. It's called How to Form a Union Step by Step. Like, this is a real movement, and the workers are rising up. And whatever you do, just don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated by these clowns in management who will try to subvert you and try to tell you, and try to give you little raises and shit like this. The raise is ultimately not going to mean much if it can buy them time. So always get your foot in the door. Always fucking unionized just fucking do it man like you have nothing to lose oh what you're gonna get fired oh great just go get another job like or stick with your workers and protest outside dude I, dude i don't think workers understand the power of their voice like if they all quit on the same day they could literally just form a fucking company to compete with Amazon. Like, they don't even need the fucking company that they're working for. But if you're going to go that route, if you want to be an employee, and most people do, then you should fucking make sure that you that, that is a place that you would want to work. In the last few years, Republicans have been increasingly concerned about a woke corporate agenda. We live, as you may have noticed, in the age of woke capital. Woke capitalism. We're so close, but... They're missing the real problem. It's not that corporations and establishment politicians care too much about racial or gender justice. The problem is they pretend to care about racism or misogyny to defend their wealth and power. And that's, that's what all we should is. be worried about. The amount of power that corporate elites have over working people. No matter who appears on a company website or how many donations they make to charities, nothing materially changes for working people when a corporate- Right, like every time you see a Disney movie cast a black lead in a traditionally white role like they did with The Little Mermaid recently, and they- they're, Dude, every, every minute you spend bitching about that shit is a minute that you don't fucking organize the labor movement. And that's what you fucking should be doing. Corporation pretends to be woke. But none of that hypocrisy is what bothers the far right. If the radical left doesn't end its obsession with identity politics, it'll tear this country apart. The right wing opposes woke capital because they see social justice as a thorn in the side of the big business that funds them. But even establishment politicians use woke language to defend their corporate backers. If we broke up the big banks tomorrow, would that end racism? Would that end sexism? Would that end discrimination against the LGBT community? So how can working people actually fight back against corporations and establishment politicians who co-opt social movement language? Can identity politics be salvaged from corporate America and their political apps? Here's the thing, though, and I think this is why anarchy is inevitable, because right now the, what the corporations are doing is tokenism, where they take minorities and they promote them to certain positions. Um, but then that market gets oversaturated, and so, like eventually somebody's got to go everybody's used up eventually there comes a point in every careerist's uh career where you know they're they're being replaced so if you get if you get enough of those people with like real fucking problems medical debt student debt you name it you get them marching in the streets bro you're talking like a fucking colossal fuck up in the system i'm olufemi taiwo author of the book elite capture and this is the classroom for more perfect unity.
And now there's a fucking railroad strike in America. It's like history repeating itself all over again. They used to shoot railroad workers for, for wanting a, a fucking eight hour work day. Something else that is very much on policymakers, uh, housing workers, and a lot beyond that. An industry report says any shutdown of operations could cost the U.S. economy $2 billion per day. Yahoo Finance. And this is what they're going to do. This is the important part. They're going to blame the labor movement for for the uh, cutoff in supply chains. What if natural gas, electric, you name it, water, anything that you actually need in your life. Like, these motherfuckers are going to cut it off and they're going to blame the fucking workers for it. That's what fuck, That's what's going to happen. It's already happening. Romero has this and then that will justify the further enslavement of the human race to these fucking oligarchs who have never put their hands to use a day in their lives sorry i mean obviously this is a very important industry have you seen prince charles his hands this fucking nazi bitch bro these are his fingers look at these little stubs they're like fucking sausage links this man this man controls most of the wealth in England. This guy's fucking disgusting. This fucking goblin. This dude is the king of England. You've got to be shitting me. And the UK is one of those countries that's just like, oh, we're woke now. Yeah, how about get rid of the ro of the royal family? Then maybe w maybe you can make a case for that. Until then, shut the fuck up. Limey. Even CNN has to admit that the labor unions are having a moment right now, which is a uh, menopausal language for their fucking winning. Between strikes by nurses, teachers, and maybe railroad workers, and new union efforts gaining steam at Starbucks, Amazon, Apple, and elsewhere, big labor is having a big movement. And the nation's freight railroad strap workers who must be on call seven days a week are at an impasse. Railroads that have seen record profits during the COVID-19 pandemic. Unions representing more than 60K workers are on course to strike on September 16th unless Congress steps in, which seems unlikely. Strike, which could halt nearly 30% of the country's freight, could put a devastating new kink in the nation's supply chain. Holy fucking shit, guys. I just called it. I just fucking called it. I knew this was gonna- f In this video, I wasn't even aware of this until two minutes ago. Dude, they're going to halt the railroads in this country and blame it on the labor movement. This is classic capitalist psyop. Bro, this is unreal. Guys, please don't fall for it. Dude, fucking unionize whatever you have to do. Fuck these motherfuckers. And if that doesn't work, just fucking kill them. We got guns in this country. Shoot your local oligarch. Kill your local billionaire. I'm done. Peace.